Today's a big day. SPF was arrested. We have one of the biggest macroeconomic events of the year, the CPI announcements. Stay tuned. We're going to jump into that here in a quick second. We just got the CPI numbers. It was a miss. And we're seeing some green wicks all across the board. How to trade this type of thing? Well, if I was anybody here, I'd be following this wizard of Soho. He doesn't miss these big calls, man. I got part, I'm part of his weekly wisdom email and he tells you how to trade it i'm sitting on the sidelines to kind of learn a little bit more but he calls it all he is just making money let's take a gander at what we're looking at here for the uh for the cpi numbers so what we're seeing here is a bunch of money <laughs> and a lot of this there's gonna be a big pump Everything's going to the moon, but why is that? It's all because CPI numbers came below what was expected. So CPI numbers on the downward trend, meaning that the feds will now be able to have a little bit more room. Hopefully tomorrow is a big day. Uh, ha they'll have a little bit more room to lower the interest rate hikes that they've been doing. They've been doing 75 basis points and they're hopefully if they do 50 basis points, we're kind of, kind of seeing the end. Maybe we might be at the top of this little bit of a uh, inflation thing, but what are we seeing here? So Basically, these are all your items. You can see 7.1 is what it came in at. Um, and then, so this is the year over year, and then this is the month over month. So this is the new numbers, the November here. We're seeing, so all items, yes, yeah, 7.1% inflation. So food, 10%. Food at home went up 12%. That's pretty huge. Uh, energy, energy's 13%. We know that's high. Oil prices were not this high last year. Uh, but they are coming down slowly. You're seeing energy commodities, so gasoline down 2%, fuel oil up. Um, fuel oil is the big one. I mean, look at it, 65% up from last. Yeah, that fuel oil, something like this, makes you look like, well, how's that gonna how's that gonna react or how's that gonna work out in the future? What do we see? Energy services, so electricity's up. Uh, 13% year over year, but down on the month. So we're seeing because we track the oil prices, we see that. Um, and then all items, less food and energy. So we're seeing down, down. Uh, used cars and trucks have come down in price over the year over year. Uh, that was, they've started to come down in price as of June. Uh, that makes sense. Apparel still up. So they have a lot of information in there. That's what it is. I'll post the link below if you want uh, to take a closer look. But what does this mean for markets? I mean, you see here, s and is already up 2% on the day. NASDAQ's up 3%. NASDAQ, yeah, of course. Uh, ETH is up 5%. Bitcoin's up. Uh, BNB's down. There's a little bit of FUD going on there. Uh, we're seeing green across the board here quite a bit. ApeCoin came out. Wiz called that perfectly. He sold out yesterday on that. Uh, big position of his. Uh, this is quite interesting here. We're seeing Mando posts, uh, JP Morgan's trading desk offers a game plan for investors on CPI day. So if we're seeing, you know, we hit right in here, they're saying up S and P reaction is going to be up four to 5%. Green Mike confirmed. That's what we were doing. So it's kind of interesting that they have that kind of want to take a couple notes on that. And to follow it up, uh, they're starting the FOMC meetings today. So they have a meeting today and then they do the announcement and Q&A tomorrow. You can see December 13 on federalreserve.gov. Uh, this is where they're going to decide on interest rates. So they'll probably take the CPI into announcement and have that conversation at the table. Uh, pretty interesting to see the FOMC the day after the CPI announcement. So they got all the information they need to launch us into next year. Uh, next FOMC is on the 26th, so this could set the tone for what the next you know month and a half is going to look like on the investing front, especially on crypto, what it's going to do, how that affects NFTs. Um, it's basically how much is it going to cost to get leveraged money into the system. So if FOMC brings down the interest rates, there's going to be a, an influx of way more money potentially. That's kind of the idea, right? Where and then everyone should just be sitting there like this. So we'll take a look. We'll see. Uh, we'll keep track of this. You know, I'm here every day ch checking on these things. But uh, this is, are we seeing, there? are we are we rounding the top? I think we might be. But uh, you never know. We've been, we've been subject to so many black swan events, you know, SBF and FTX. You know, we've had uh, the Terra Luna. We're having some, uh, the geopolitical tensions across the world. It's COVID, like over the last couple of years, there's been so many events that have just blindsided everybody that nobody can prepare for. Um, 
but you know you can you don't need there's two things you can do you there's things you can control and there's things you can't control so uh take a look and ingest the information and uh invest into your risk tolerance this is not financial advice if everyone took my financial advice everyone would be broke as f you know <laughs> If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. We're going to jump into the crypto market summary here where we keep track and finger on the pulse of crypto. Make sure we see what's going on, identifying some trends. Uh, just show up every day and good things can happen. We're seeing, look at that green wick from ETH. This is the end of CPI announcement and boom, right up there. So we're seeing basically the market cap increase. So this stuff runs, I think I get this information at about 6.10 my time. So probably 20 minutes before that CPI announcement. So this is right before that big hike. Um, but ETH was at 1280 here, so everything kind of pumped up here. Uh, yeah, we're looking looking good across the board. We're up 30 billion dollars on the total coin market cap, so up and up. Green mic confirmed. Shit coins. Let's take a look at our shit coin volumes. Uh, get into Ethereum. I'd imagine that there's going to be some volume here, 1.9 million. Um, and then there is 6,737 transactions. So what are we seeing? Yiffy, uh, safe SBF. We're not seeing anything cool. Gamma Goblins. Okay, Cardi B, Coindesk. Yeah, there's a couple ones in there. What's going on in bit on uh, the Binance smart chain? I wasn't sure what's going to happen here with all the Binance FUD. So I guess we'll kind of see what's going on here. Zibis, I don't know. Anchor, BNB, whatever. L looks like anchor why is there a bunch of anchors it's so weird um some memes some out there somewhere you know what i mean so marketplace volumes ETH is just, or um the total of marketplace volume is just crushing it right now we're seeing 31 million dollars in the last day um led by blur blur is at 60 million dollars so there was some it's still about their airdrops, right? So it's kind of weird just to see that big spike and not a big spike anywhere else. I don't know the deal behind it, but there's some rumors. I, I think it was NFT Statistics put out a little bit of a thread on that, talking about why Blur Air is having so much volume and is it because of the airdrop that they're about to have. You get rewarded the more you use it. So I don't know. Take a look. So oil prices, this is why we track it every day. You know, it, oil, the energy prices in the CPI announcement is a big deal. Uh, it's a big portion of it. So we're seeing, you know, heating oil has jumped up quite a bit. That's been a big one. Uh, oil's seeing some pressure on the upside here. So we'll see what happens there. The bonds, so everything. We're seeing some big moves in the bond market here. Remember, this was taken at six, whatever, six, ten. So uh, it's twenty minutes before that CPI announcement. All of a sudden, you know, bonds they tank 10, 10 basis points. They're not even close to what this was anymore. Um, still steep though, still steep. We're going to get into the NFT floor prices here. Uh, we're seeing downward. So the sum of all the floor prices of this collection, uh, is 266 yesterday, 261. So we're down five ETH. What was the leaders here? I'm seeing probably a little bit. They say, see proof is down a little bit. Monoliths that are tanked. That's crazy. Um, Wreck guy, they hit one ETH. I'm, I put mine for sale today. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna sell. I put it for sale last night, but didn't sell. Uh, I'll probably buy a couple Ether Orcs, maybe one Ether Orc and uh, some Rug Radios. Where if I in a Rug Radio if I can, I just think there's a little bit more upside there. I'd like to get back into Wreck guy. I don't want to miss it, but um, lots of hype with the tattoos. Sandbox is coming back up again. That's kind of nice to see. So a couple little things there. Either way, we're looking at some stuff. Uh, we'll get into some SBF talk tomorrow. That's gonna that's what's gonna happen. So enjoy the rest of your day, folks.